going on welcome to developed tonight we're talking about our recipe oreo milkshake i just made a 30 mil of it i like it a lot um if you got it guys have any kind of questions or anything throw them in the chat tag us do what you got to do so what's going on question. guys i got a you question, question graham yeah how are you how are you so beautiful i need to know what you do with your beard it's a beautiful thing um, I drink a lot oh, of spring water. That's it. Yep, seems that's like it. You, seems like it's more than that. Seems like it's well, I'm an alcoholic too. So oh, that's what, that's what it is. It's the dried whiskey in the corners of your mouth. I see that. <laughs> yeah, I was Gross and really lush. So yeah. well, it's beautiful anyway. Thank you. But appreciate I, I've that. Drinking too. So <laughs> going on folk art. Any more ail- ailments this week? Uh, not too bad. I'm just losing my hearing in my left ear more and more. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm falling apart, man. Falling apart. Uh, yeah, other than that, it. I'm doing good. Doing good. Feeling good. Yeah, back's about back into shape. So let's good. take care of that piece of yours. We don't want anything happening to that. I, got yeah. I guard it with my life. <laughs> 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 Thank God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, so what's been going on with you, Max? Oh, I spent most of the week being sick, actually. So that between uh, what's that, Graham? I don't feel good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I was pretty much sick for most of the week, and I uh, working outside and everything. We had a snowstorm, so other than that, just kind of. Trying to get better, but finally t- feeling a little bit better, so I'm good. See what's gonna happen. You're gonna get better. Oh, I mean, I hope I get better. It's usually the plan. Yeah, chicken soup. Yeah, there's that, and plenty of whiskey. Yeah, he's always. got that covered. Yeah, <laughs> you don't gotta <laughs> tell me, man. <laughs> Well, uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot of mixing this week, but I have been uh, working on a very difficult damn profile to go after. I thought since I I spent the last two years working on a chocolate and finally got a decent one out, that I'd tackle another damn unicorn, and that is peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oh, God damn. Really? <laughs> Yeah. How is that coming? I just that, I, I, I love I love to torture myself, you know, so you know, why the hell not? You've been looking at the Kanako soy when using that at all? No, not no, I haven't I haven't tried that. Um it, it, that might that might work a little bit. I I think the problem with most peanut butters isn't like the the peanut part, it's the butter part. Which you know, peanut butter really don't taste like butter at all. It's it's more like a, a creaminess that it's kind of hard to infuse into a peanut butter vape. So that's kind of that's kind of the approach that I'm taking. I'm taking the approach where I'm t- I'm taking I'm using the TPA DX peanut butter, which yeah, yeah, in sure. in my opinion is probably the best peanut butter out. Uh, it doesn't fade like uh, TPA's regular peanut butter, and it's got a really nice flavor to it. But it's still lacking that creaminess. Uh, right, so, right. yeah, so well, it's one of the only ones that doesn't taste like that Spanish, that red Spanish peanut skin, that's right. what I think most, you know, you know, most peanut butter tastes like that. Exactly. So. Exactly. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing some experiments with that. Um, I'm actually taking a, uh, a dark cream to, to, to add to it. I don't want to talk too much about like it, but. <laughs> oh yeah. You don't want to give it away. Right? Well, well, it, it. You know, if if I come up with something, I'll definitely make it public. But uh, I'm trying to add some dark creaminess to it. 
So we'll 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 see how that goes. We'll see how that when goes. When you say dark, I mean like, are you? What do you mean? Like a dark cream, like like a Devon cream, or like a Devon cream, where it goes towards like chocolate, or yeah, like how do you, how do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Okay. So so I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it. It's uh, Hanson's chocolate cream. I I know it, it oh, seems wow. it seems like that goes in everything I make now. <laughs> well, I mean that that's how it's going to happen, right? You're going to develop one thing and then realize what other things do. Yeah, yeah. I was I, I was actually uh, messing around with uh, like a uh, a peanut butter chocolate uh, cup, you know, like a uh, a Reese's cup, right? And I was using some chocolates, in it and I was noticing like the the peanut butter tasted more kind of authentic, and so that's that's kind of why I started messing with that. I'm also adding uh, some caramels in there and some extra dappiness, so that seems to help yeah. it out some too. Uh, Wish me luck. It'll probably take another two more years. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll nail it somewhere, you know, 2020. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. Uh, uh, CN, CN says I'm a Macus. I, I, I can't even say that word. <laughs> masochist. Masochist. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And she would know. Yeah. You really? Oh, yeah. She would know. <laughs> you beautiful little freak. Mm-hmm. Look at the facts. Yeah. Oh, I know one when I see one. Uh, Takes one on. Yeah, talking about you, Sin. Look at him, direct on everything. <laughs> what? I like that. So, so y'all been mixing up anything this week? Uh, anything interesting going on? Yeah, well, no. Not, you know. I still haven't mixed it up, but I just got in um, that. Uh, maybe I got it last week and probably already talked a bit. The lemon meringue tart mm-hmm. from Babe Chain. That shit's so good. So good. It's so good. It's so much better. It's like next level good. Yeah. Like, I really want to mix up. Um, I can't remember who made it. I think it was a uh, mix and hope or something. She made a lemon curd or he made a lemon curd. It's on ATF. It looks really fucking good. Hmm. It's got like vanilla swirl, vanilla pudding, yogurt drink, and lemon meringue tart i don't know how that can be bad yeah no, yeah that sounds, that sounds really good i've got that flavor in but i haven't tested it yet i think i smelled it and it smelled pretty damn awesome yeah they, i mean yeah. they really just nail it they, i mean they really do just nail it they, when they nail something they really do yeah 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 vape chain's kicking ass i tell you yeah they definitely are it, it, do you know do these flavor companies have like a, a release schedule do you know? Because it seems like everybody's releasing things the same time as they did last year. You know I don't have I mean? no idea, but you do actually have a good point. Kind of seems like that's what happens, like right? Wonder Flavors released a bunch of stuff last year around time, and I remember like right after that, Vape Train did. Mm-hmm. Vape mm-hmm. Train launched actually, but you know, in the U.S. Maybe they but feel I- like you know that that they wouldn't want to release something during the holidays or something, and just kind yeah, of wait till that. wait till it's you know first of the year or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm just wondering because I wonder what would be next. You know, like who? I think it was Flavor Art. Didn't Flavor Art release a bunch of stuff right after Vape Train last year? Mm-hmm. I yeah. think they did. Yeah, that was all that uh, the Farin Cream, and Ice yeah. Cream, and all that. Yeah. Maybe it'll do it again this year. Yeah, be cool. Mm-hmm. Or did they they release the Pazo stuff too? Didn't they then? Yep, that's what it was before then, right? Yeah. Because those yeah. are a little bit newer. Yeah. I think they released that around then. Yeah. 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 I, uh, I liked one. I liked the uh, one shot things from Play Art. I just got in um, that cannoli. And I haven't tried that one yet either. But it smells a lot better than cannoli shell. Back the fuck off, dude. What do you mean? No way. As <laughs> a cannoli. Get out of here. I haven't tried it. That's basically. How do you. <laughs> I already said it's that. Better, I know it's better, but I haven't tried it. I didn't say that. I just said it smells better. Scent is subjective. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> You're the worst. You're the... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's that good. <laughs> yeah, it's try. the best, but I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> He's the worst. I didn't say it was the best. I just said. You would never say it's the best. It's it's that it's the worst. 
But oh, he's, yeah. he tries it. Oh, I'm not going to say anything's good. Negative Nancy. Other than yogurt drink. <laughs> yogurt drink is really good. You had that? Yeah. Yeah? Never know with you. Mm. Yeah, I fucking love yogurt drink. Okay. I yeah, that is the one, that's the one thing you like. I, I remember that. Uh, no. Flavora native? Come on, man. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You should mix Flavora native and uh, yogurt drink and then get rid of the yogurt drink. That's yeah, I've done I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> that's his all day vape. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I need a bottle like this big of native. And drink. I'll go through it too. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna drink it. I'm not even gonna vape. Put it on, on your nipples. Probably. No. That's why I go through it so quick. I'm just like, you know, well, just spreading it around. That's that's what he's putting in his beard. That's what mm-hmm. makes it so beautiful. No, it's Nipple. whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to get weird. Let's go in a different direction. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. just that. <laughs> well, who who wants to talk about Oreo cookie milkshakes? Nobody. Nobody. No, it's, okay. It's, Show's no, over. I mean, it's so perfect. Has anybody in the chat mixed it up? I hope they have. Because yeah. it's really fucking spot on it's probably my favorite recipe that we've done even with the ones coming and everything it, it's well well not the ones coming the ones coming are almost as good i mean as soon as we tweak them yeah but the it, yeah it's so accurate it might be the most accurate of any yeah. recipe i've ever tried to be honest. and i don't like anything and i really like this shit. super yeah, so yeah, I, I throw one. I throw the recipe link up in the chat there if, if if anybody wants to take a look at it. Um, yeah, we're waiting for him to respond. Like, like they're gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> so, where's Alfred? I don't know where Alfred is, Emily. He's nobody he's, knows. He's in the shop for maintenance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his mother his motherboard fried or some shit. I don't know. Needs to get a new processor. His he's brain. Getting, he's going yeah. for an upgrade. He's yeah. getting defragged. He's finally <laughs> getting Windows 10 on his fucking SSD. <laughs> Windows 10. Yeah. Home robot edition. Yeah. He's always used Linux, though. So. Yeah, he's a Linux guy. That's his his OS. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, uh, we, we actually had a special guest during this last episode. We had Wayne yeah. Walker join us to yeah. uh, try to tackle this Oreo milkshake. Uh, y'all yeah, want to talk wait, about yeah. the Y'all want to talk about the first version that we did? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. bad. It was not bad. It was weird that it was actually a really accurate like what did I say last time it was like a quadruple stuffed Oreo. It was just yeah. so dappy and just so heavy on the cream. But you still got that pretty clear uh kind of oreo cocoa cookie vibe from it but it was just a lot of cream (laughs) it was far better than one of those quadruple stuffed oreos yeah it's still good but if you want (laughs) if you really want to overload with dap and yeah i do not yeah the all that that well i don't just lung butter i don't know if 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 y'all picked up that popcorn note in in the mix I picked it up. It was like overpowering to me. Where do you think that was coming from? I think it was a combination of the Flavor West sweet cream and the uh, Real Flavors deep fried cookies. I'm sorry, uh, cream and cookies. Or cookies and oh, cream. So it, it was like 2016 clashing with the present? No, yeah, no. it was something. I don't know. And we we started off with the deep fried cookies at 5%, which is... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. which... That was that was too much. It was too much. But uh, I think Skittles had mentioned that that flavor kind of needs to be broke somehow, right. and so we were trying to break it, and uh, it, it just I think combined with the flavor with sweet cream, it just put way too much of a popcorn note in it, in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. What do y'all yeah, think that. caused that? I I would say you're probably right. It was that sweet cream. I I always get like. A really heavy dairy note from uh, Flavor West sweet cream, and um, I kind of hoped it would like 
it didn't really need to thicken anything, but it did just kind of add a really weird dairy vibe. That what kinda... note are you looking for with a sweet cream? What do you mean? Like like cheesy you get a dairy, dairy note out of sweet cream? No, like it was like a cheesy dairy. Oh, like a okay. I get what yeah, I, I'm not a really big fan of uh, the flavor West sweet cream because kind of gets a note that you get from um, the deep fried. Mm-hmm. It just it, it clashed and. I thought it was going to turn into way more of like a cheesy note, but I did get that popcorn. It was, yeah, it was see, that's where I was. That's where I was saying the uh, jungle flavors Bavarian cream would have mm-hmm. worked if we would maybe instead of what was I saying instead of the uh, I don't know, but for that reason, less of that note, but still there a little bit. Maybe the deep fried note we could have used without using the deep fried Oreo, but. It all worked out better anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was you know the uh, the, the flavor West yogurt that we used and the flavor West sweet cream was supposed to kind of be that milkshake part, but I don't I don't think it really turned into that. Like like Max said, it was just like a cheesy kind of a note in there mm-hmm. instead of a a shake. Yeah, where it would have worked had we not used like five other things with a ton of dap in it. Right. Right. But. So let's let's talk about the the recipe that we actually did come up with. Uh, this was this was the second version um, that we did, I believe. We actually, I, I did actually a third version. <coughs> yeah, I me. think we, I think we did three versions of it, the, but the the, la, the second the third version was just changed very minorly. Is that a word? <laughs> right, right. So <clears throat> in the second version. Uh, for for the people that's listening to this on the podcast, I'm just going to read off the the recipe here. So we use 075 percent of FA Bavarian cream, one percent of FA cookie, two percent of real flavors deep fried cookies and cream super concentrate, three percent one on one O's cookie, and four percent liquid barn vanilla ice cream. And um, this was spot on for me. Now, when I first mixed it up, I used uh, Real Flavors cookies and cream, not the fried cookies and cream. And then I mixed up another batch using the deep fried cookies and cream, and I was trying to compare them, you know, to see which one worked better. And most definitely the Real Flavors uh, deep fried cookies and cream worked better. It was just a more bold Oreo, that dark cookie note, you know. Uh, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was... So that's what we went well, that's, with. I mean, that's good to know. And mm-hmm. People who might be did... like afraid of that deep fried thing, I think it kind of just added, it didn't really come off as fried at all, did it, to you? No. Uh, now, when we were using it at 5% in the first version, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Kind of like battered a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But in, I think that it was bolstered by so much of the cream in the final version where we did kind of break it in the right way. We Mm. just used it lower and we used the right kind of flavors to try to, you know, bend it back into a regular Oreo. I haven't tried that actual, uh, the non deep fried one. Skittles. Yeah. Skittles is really like he, he, said for sure that it had to be the deep fried one and I just didn't get using it that high I I didn't think that it came off I thought there were too many off notes with that deep fried thing going on but with this low I don't think many people will pick it up right right yeah I don't I don't think so it's just a real kind of in your face cookie um what do you think the the one on one O's cookie did for the for the mix? To me, I thought it was more of the cookie and a lot of, like more of well not more of the cookie. I think more of the cookie came from the real flavors, but a lot more of the cream came out and a lot more of that heavy cocoa note came from the one on one. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And liquid barn ice cream, I mean, what can you say about that? It's perfect for a fucking shake, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, uh, I was I think I was the one that suggested using the FA Bavarian Cream, just because I've I've come up with a couple of um, Oreo cookie uh, vapes, and a tried and true way to come up with an Oreo cookie for me is using FA Cookie and Bavarian Cream. It just it just kind of works. It gets you you get well and a chocolate obviously. Uh, it just gives you that kind of uh, crunchy dark cookie, and that Bavarian Cream is just simulates that cream that's inside of Oreo so well, I think. Yeah. Um, you could you could probably use TFA Bavarian cream uh, yeah. as as a sub for it, but and it, it kind of bolsters that that shake too. It makes it a little more thick and rich. I remember last week somebody was talking about Vienna cream and how it's supposed to be kind of that filling. And I just think it's just why we didn't ever bring that up and everything it's just it's too thin and we did need um more of that darker kind of cream which bavarian cream has vienna cream really doesn't yeah add enough to the profile and everything but i i do i like vienna cream a lot i just don't think that it was the right one for a, maybe for a golden oreo but maybe not for like a um cocoa kind of note that we needed mm -hmm. original oreo yeah it, it's i think alfred made a really good point with you, you would think to use like like we, when you're you know backing up the cookie to use another chocolate cookie but it absolutely would have altered that chocolate profile you know or the chocolate it would have altered it so maybe it's not the best thing to do you know use like uh because i think we did bring up vape trains devon cream right and the mm -hmm. chocolate would have it would have altered that chocolate too. Yeah. So using that FA cookie without altering the chocolate was definitely the way to go. Yeah. I mean, uh, really an Oreo cookie is not chocolate. You know, it's just kind of a, a dry, dark cocoa like cookie. Uh, it's yeah. not, it's not really a chocolate. Which is so, odd to think, right? Like mm -hmm. you would think that it is chocolate, but it's, it really isn't. It's, yeah. It, it, I mean, this recipe does come off as, an Oreo that was blended up with an ice cream base. And, and if we wanted to add more of like an actual chocolate to it, like a chocolate ice cream, it probably would have altered the entire Oreo. Mm -hmm. NA Chef uh, asked, would, would I use the same filling for a golden Oreo recipe? Um, I, I would probably still start out with F.A. Bavarian Cream as the filling part, but for the cookie part, I would probably go with something like uh, Wonder Flavors um, uh, Wafer. What is it? Um, um, oh, the Crispy Wafer? Yeah, Crispy Wafer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, probably probably that, and, and maybe F.A. Cookie, or maybe even a sugar cookie, cap cap sugar cookie or something. But I th I think the Bavarian cream would still work in the uh, in the golden Oreo. That's where I would start anyway. I think there's already a. What was that? There's already a what? Uh, golden Oreo, isn't there? Yeah, By, Mills. Yeah, Mills made one. Hmm. Just make that shit. Make your life easier. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I would say Emily's on it with the vanilla cream extra, but I think I brought that up. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did talk about that too. That you're probably right. It probably would have worked as a pretty good sub for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk about subs. What could people sub for this? Because I know that one on one's hard to get certain places. Um, I really think you need the one on one. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I I definitely think you need the one on one. I don't know, unless you want to really start from scratch. Uh, Folkart has said that he he made an Oreo base before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's basically just uh, I, in the real cookies and cream, I use TFA uh, double chocolate clear. Now that was back when I d didn't have a lot of the, uh, of the chocolates that we have now. So I would probably go with a different chocolate than than that. Maybe something like uh, um, Mullenberry Glamour chocolate or Australian, uh, Hanson's Australian chocolate, something like that. Vape Train's uh, chocolate base might be good, actually, in it, too. Um, but 
you use that chocolate, a FA cookie at about 2%. You would use the chocolate at around 0.75%. And then a Bavarian, um, did I say Bavarian cream already? Bavarian cream at about uh, 1.5%. Mm-hmm. And yeah, FA cookie uh, at about 2%. So that, that makes a pretty solid Oreo cookie, if, if that's what you're going for. Yeah. yeah, and then you think you could just add a liquid barn to that and have a close enough one? or? Yeah, actually, I think that's uh, – it's been a while since I've visited that recipe, but I'm pretty sure I used liquid barn vanilla ice cream in that the real uh, cookies and cream recipe. Uh, I also added a little bit of uh, sweet cream in it too. That's that's kind of cool. That that's, it's interesting that you were able to get to the same profile using two totally different approaches. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think this recipe is a much more authentic uh, Oreo shake than my cookies and cream. Mine's more of just a, a cookie with cream in it. I mean, it's not right. it's not really a shake, but this is I think this is much more authentic. Yeah. Yeah. I, if you really can only have access to um, the real flavors Oreo, I guess I'd try to use Emily's uh, vanilla cream extra for more of that filling and maybe a, a touch more of the cookie and probably still keep the real flavors around 3%. And it might work. I just, I feel like the, the, the two of them, that cocoa note, is what pulled off this recipe so well. So I, if you, I, my heart's out there. If you don't have O's cookie, if you don't have access to it, uh, for this recipe, I, I don't really know how much you can sub it and still get it to be as good as it is. But okay, so uh, the stalker, yes, I am corrected me on my own recipe because I've it's been so long since I've looked at it. I actually used uh, TFA vanilla bean ice cream in that one. I would okay. I, I would suggest using liquid barn vanilla ice cream in it though. At probably about the same percentage. Maybe that like four percent maybe a, a little higher. Actually mm-hmm. I think I only used uh used it at like one one or one and a half percent. So I would go higher on the liquid barn vanilla ice cream if you're gonna sub that for it. Yeah, kick it on up to about 4%. Yeah, bring something up. Would you, you think you should go back and change old recipes? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to go back to some of my earlier recipes and uh, try to tweak them and make them better because, I mean, I've, my, I've learned so much. Well, I learn something every day, mixing, every single day. And stuff that I'm producing now, I'm sure I'll go back in six months to a year and say, well, I, shit, I wish I, I would have done that in in, right. in this recipe. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go back to some of my older recipes and see if I can't uh, update them and make them better, make them a little more authentic. Um, yeah, for sure. Right. Would you, are you going to leave the old one up there and make it like an amendment? Like the word it's like adjusted or that you updated it or would you, how would you do that? Do you think the right move is there? Oh, I would I, I would leave the original recipe there. I would just you know make it a version two or something, okay, or a remix yeah. of it or something. Yeah, I've pulled a lot of recipes just because I don't like how they end up after a month. Like I pulled a couple of my tobaccos back down just because I noticed something really strange happening with them, like the reviews. Uh, <laughs> no, I've never gotten really bad reviews on. Oh. Yeah, I, I, that doesn't bother me really if there's bad reviews or anything. I mean, I put them out there because I feel confident in them and that's how I want them mixed. I usually do add subs and everything, but most of the time, like I did a hazelnut tobacco and I used uh, the Wonder, Wonder Flavors hazelnut cream and it got very strange with, I think I used Turkish and I wasn't a fan of that, so I pulled that recipe down. Yeah, I've I've done that a few times myself, especially when I first started mixing. It's like I would, I'd get excited about a recipe that I just come up with and put it out before it really had time to steep. And especially like I put out like one or two uh, peanut butter and jelly recipes, and like 
immediately I took them down. It's like, wait a minute, this no, this ain't turning out right. <laughs> it what happens. was your first? You started out on on uh, ELR, right, Fo? Mm, no, not really. No. What was your first recipe? My first recipe was um, was a very simple recipe. It was right after I took Wayne Walker's class, uh, uh, the two hundred two uh, class, and right. it was uh, just like a, a, a vanilla ice cream with caramel. I forget what it was called actually. Um, I forget. It's it's been it's been it's been so long ago. But it was based basically off of his ice cream base uh, stone. And then I added some caramel just to liven it up just a little bit. That was my first recipe I posted on eight on um, all the flavors. I think I, I think I discovered you with was it pineapple pitch? Did yeah, you know <laughs> yeah, pineapple bits. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was actually, I was actually in a little argument with this lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't hear the story behind that. What, when, what's the story behind that? When I co- like, when I come up with the title for that, it is like. Pineapple, bitch. <laughs> uh, so that's that's where that that's where it came up from. <laughs> yeah, I used that for a while. I liked that recipe. <laughs> sure. Uh, you guys want to talk about how this recipe changed from um, when we first made it till, I guess, it's what two weeks now? Yeah, it's been almost two weeks. Um, I think when I first vaped it, I was a little concerned that that Oreo might be like too much in your face and I didn't get enough of the, the milkshake part. But after uh, about five or six days, it definitely started changing and I could really taste that milkshake in there. What about y'all? Yeah. I fully agree with that. I have um, a little bit left of this tester and I just made another 30 mil and you can get a pretty clear difference between the two. Uh, the The cookie doesn't really back down, which is really good. I um, I just noticed more of that ice cream base kind of showing more in the, especially the Bavarian cream. I don't know. I tasted it in the beginning, but I just feel like it adds a lot more to the profile, especially after I'd say around five days it started to come out. And then a week later, it was really hasn't changed from one week till now. And I'm very happy with the steeped version. Oh, yeah, most definitely. There, There is probably one thing. Uh, if somebody wants to mix this up and they enjoy sweeter type vapes, you know, I, I think adding a little bit of super sweet, and I know I say this all the damn time, but uh, when developed releases a recipe, we very seldom ever put sweetener in it. So if you want to kind of raise the levels of those flavors just a little bit, just add about uh, 0.25 or 0.5% super sweet. And I think it'll help it out some too. Yeah. Um, if for those who actually like to add coolant to ice cream, uh, don't do WS23 in here. Just go with the uh, polar blast kind of route. I definitely feel like if you want a cold ice cream kind of a thing from it, Polar Blast is my preferred for a cream. So I would, and I'd use it probably pretty low. Yeah. It, depending on how much you like, though. I mean, like what Folk Art said, use it like salt and pepper, you know? Just add it where you need it. You don't think pol- Polar Blast would be minty? I don't really get a mint from it. No, I do. Big time. Really? Yeah. I just see. noticed that it gets colder on the exhale, like gradually as you vape it. Yeah, it's it's hard for me to vape anything with WS23 in it. Uh, I almost always go with either some type of a peppermint or mint or polar blast. I, I like polar blast, and I can use it, you know, fairly high, you know, relatively high, uh, 0.25 percent or or even 0.5 percent in some mixes. And it doesn't. I mean, WS twenty three hits the back of my throat like damn pine, like needles, like needles. So mm. uh, polar blast doesn't do that. It's just an overall coolness for me. Yeah, I like WS twenty three. I just, I mean, I just think it distracts so much from the flavor on its own. Anyway, I really only do it in like 
Oh, if I want to hate vape a, a fruit that I fucked up, I throw some of that in there on like a cold day, but mm. or a hot day. Hot day. I'm not fucking a masochist like fucking folk art over here. But <laughs> I, well, I might be, but I throw, I'll throw that in there with just a fruit mix and everything. But I really feel like coolant distracts from a lot of the flavor that comes out, and sometimes I'm okay with that. <laughs> I must be weird because I like to vape menthol flavors in the wintertime. Are y'all guys like that? I, I, the weather has never affected anything or any way that I use anything, to be honest with you. I think like, I I've think, never said, like, oh, this is a winter, winter yeah. mix or anything like that. I, I think the reason that is is because when I used to smoke cigarettes, I went through a phase uh, where I was smoking menthols. And it just happened to be like during the winter months, and so I don't know if that's some kind of some kind of association there going on or, or whatever. But in the summertime, I don't really vape anything menthol. But in the wintertime, I just I like a nice menthol vape every once in a while. Reminds you back to when you were you know killing yourself. Exactly, exactly. The good, the good old days, the good old days. Yeah, I, I need those it. memories usually. I get it. <laughs> I, I can't I can't do it during the winter. I mean sometimes, but uh, I can't do really mint menthol WS twenty three. I work outside too, and but you I can't live in the tundra. Really... Yeah, well, there's that I too. Mean, it's like negative fourteen degrees right now, right? Where you're at? No. <laughs> right, no. Go with it. What's wrong with you? Go with it. No. Yeah. Work it out. It's fourteen degrees, right? Where you're at? No. Oh. I don't even yeah. know the temperature. Like, yeah, still not going to go with it. Huh? So we got anything yeah. else to say about our, our, our recipe, or are we kind of finished wrapping that up, or what? Beat a dead horse a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm really happy with how it steeped. Yeah. I think I I was a little worried. I thought we were going to have to do like a V2 on this one, or at least kind of tweak it and then put it out there. But what was it, V3 that we ended up with, or was it? A little bit more. Well, it was it was the second version, but uh, I tried it both with the real flavors, uh, cream and cookies, and the real flavors deep fried cookies and cream. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't you think, want to talk about that? I, th- like, I think I think I already did. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. I can't keep track of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we I, I settled on the deep fried uh, cookies and cream because it just seemed to be a little more authentic of a Oreo than the real flavors, cream and cookies. Do you think that maybe the other one could be a sub for like O's cookie or no? Did you notice like enough of a difference with the yeah. cream on that? I don't know. I don't know. To be hmm. honest with you. I think, I think that O's cookie brings that cocoa dark yeah. cookie in there. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know if, I don't I don't think that the the real flavors cream and cookies is that much different from the deep fried cookies and cream. But no, I, I think if if you maybe put a little bit of something that has that in there with it, it's it's really close. Yeah, yeah. It, it it is it, it is, and you know if you don't if you don't have the deep fried cookies and cream, but you got the uh, cream and cookies, go for it. It's good. It's good. It's just I thought that the deep fried was just a little bit more authentic. But I, I would say that you, you're more than likely going to have to stick with the one-on-one O's cookie unless you just want to build your own uh, dark cookie. You know, yeah. you could you, you could probably up the F.A. cookie and then add some kind of a cocoa or chocolate or something in there uh, to try to mimic that. But Yeah, they both had, like, parts missing, and they just filled – those parts that were missing just really – or filled out with each other. And um, <clears throat> that's why I'm glad that I actually picked up O's cookie. But they I, just, what was that? I think Al Ben in the, in the comments is saying that uh, with jungle flavors, Bavarian cream work with that. And I think if you use oh, yeah. the real, real flavors, regular cream cookie, cookies and cream and jungle flavors, it would get really close to uh, the deep fried one. Like probably pretty, pretty damn close actually yeah yeah i I think i think it would sub out really well 
And and I I'm pretty sure we talked about using jungle flavors Bavarian cream instead of the FA, didn't we? I think Graham did actually mix it with jungle flavors too for a version, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did instead of the uh, deep fried one. I used no, it what, instead of the deep fried with it. What did you think about that one? It, it came out perfect. I mean, it came out real close to with the the um, deep fried one. Yeah. What were the percentages and everything that you worked out too? Oh, I can't. I can't remember on that one. Honest, okay. Like, so everybody just wing it. <laughs> no, I just, I, I, that wasn't the final version that I used, and I just oh, okay. I was just trying different shit, and the, the jungle flavors definitely did work. So I mean, yeah, kind of wing it. I mean, to see what you could do, you know. I mean, yeah. You know, I was just dumping things in bottles. Yeah, you can definitely you can adjust this recipe. I I don't think that there's this is the only way to complete like a Oreo milkshake. This was just our version. This what worked out with us, but the flavors yeah. that we use. It's the best one ever made, and it can't be topped. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's basically what, that's basically what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I mean, you can try. Have yeah, fun, try. I guess, but it'll never work. Yeah, but if you do it with uh, jungle flavors, Bavarian cream, just remember that we told you to do that. Yeah. So any variation that you try, this is our idea. Yeah, we already did it. So, <laughs> yeah, so if you make any money, we owe you owe us. Yeah. Y'all want to talk about any of the projects that uh, we're thinking about doing in the future? Um, like, I mean, not projects, but recipes and profiles and stuff. Yeah, is, we should, it, is there any anything that anyone thinks we should try? Well, yeah. go go ahead, Max. Oh, I was just wondering if there was a way that you guys, uh, how should we have them like uh, send like their ideas and everything? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just put my email address in the chat. We definitely uh, want to capitalize on everyone else's ideas, right? Yeah, we're trying to make money off you guys. (laughs) Yeah. Broke here. Especially Graham. We have to pay Graham, so come on. So anybody, anybody that has an idea uh, for a profile... Just uh, shoot me an email. My email's there in the chat. Uh, or you can contact us through Discord or through my Facebook page. Everything, all links to all that is in the description. So, you know, there's a hundred ways to get in touch with me. Just get in touch with me one of those ways, and we'll we'll yeah. we'll try to do do something uh, something that you're interested in. Stock tips, anything. Yeah. Uh, like what, also, what, insider trading shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and if you have any kind of problems with anything that we do, uh Alfred is our customer support. So you just contact him on Discord, tell him everything that we do wrong. Uh anything that we do right, tell um like Graham, me, yeah. folk art. <laughs> Alfred needs all the negative. It's, yeah. He loves it. He, he likes can, to work it out. He can handle it. He can download all that bad feedback. So. Yeah. Yeah. He can pretty much spit out a prognosis in about three seconds after he downloads it. Yeah, works it around. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I was kind of wanting to talk about. We had mentioned this um, in our private discussions about maybe tackling some clones, and we talked about doing one called uh, "Breakfast at Telios: The Milk." Has anybody yeah. ever tried that? Do y'all have yeah, this one? Like, I've never even what? heard of that one. Is that to be two? Is that the is that the original one or is that the crunch one? Um, this is, this is just the new one that I got. I don't know. I, I guess it's, it's the original. The label, the label just looks different to me. It's, it's probably the original one. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, th- this one, I, this one does have like a serial, uh, a serial note in there. Uh, it's not really a crunch. Like a, it's not like a cinnamon cereal. Um, mm. is it supposed to be a, cause the, the original one is supposed to be a pebbles milk. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. This is yeah. This is definitely a like a, a pebbles milk. Yeah. There's there's not much cereal in it, but it's if you was to take milk and put it in a bowl of you know, fruity pebbles yeah. or something, and then let it sit for a while and then pour off the the milk. That's this. That's this. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so. I'm uh, sure that, uh, do, do y'all have this one? one. Do, do you think that it, I do? I do know that one fairly well. That do you think that the way that that is blended. Do you know what I'm talking about with that one? The blend of that, the way that that 
the mouthfeel on that is. Do you think that that's something you can do with the flavors, or is that time they're using, like steep? You understand oh, what I'm saying? Uh, you can you can definitely do this uh, with flavors, sure. I don't I, I don't I don't I don't think I understand the question. Well, well, there's a, there's a like a particular like smoothness in that in mm -hmm. that particular flavor that I don't know is done. I think it might just be the steep. Uh, you know I mean? well, I'm sure it probably smooths out a whole lot after a long steep or something. And that's, you know, I, I have no clue how they make it or how long they steep it or anything like that. But that, I could see how that would, that would go into the, to the finished smoothness of it. Cause it is really smooth. It, it is has smooth. a different vibe to it than, than any other liquid that I've tried. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very smooth, but I think, I think we're, we're going to tackle it. Uh, Max did. Did you not get the memo? No, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> okay. I think I was working that day. Oh, okay. Well, I think well, me, me and Graham and uh, Alfred uh, were, were talking about it, I know. And I think Graham bought, bought it or has it or was going to get it. Yeah, that's that's actually the only commercial liquid I've ever bought. Okay. That I, that I used to use. Okay. So, so What is it called? It. The Milk. The Milk, the milk by mm -hmm. Telios? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so, been around for a while, right? Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people have tried to clone it, but I think they're missing something. I think I'm pretty sure I know what, what they're missing in all the other clones. God damn, that's expensive. Yeah, it is. Sure yeah, it I is. bought two bottles of it and went into DIY immediately. Holy shit. Yep. But, so we're gonna we're gonna try to tackle some clones and if, if any of you guys in the chat, you know, have a favorite commercial juice that you like you know send me a send me an email or hit me up in discord or something and we'll try to we'll try to go after some clones i don't want to i don't want to get bogged down in that but because it can take a long time to develop something like that but we'll we'll, tr we'll do our best on it yeah well <clears throat> we're all really reachable if you want to hit us up on discord any kind of profile suggestions that you have um just Feel free to shoot them our way and everything. We're always looking for other stuff to tackle. We have a we have a bunch of profiles in the works right now. It's just trying to dial them all in and opera cake and a chef. What is opera cake? I, don't I heard him. I heard him saying that yesterday or something like recently. I used to make an opera cake when I used to work at this one restaurant. I don't know if it was totally accurate, but it was um. It was like a slightly under. It wasn't like a like a lava cake. It was like a slightly undercooked, kind of brownie cake. Um, that I would know. you know the word cake would lend it. So oh, the it might be a cake. Yeah, op yeah, it does. <laughs> the <laughs> opera cake, like looking at pictures, it looks like a tort. Yeah, I'm I'm sh I'm showing it in in the stream here. That looks really. That looks really good. That almost looks like a nanum, nanomi or whatever you call it. A what? It's a kiramisu. The nomi yeah. bar? Yeah. A yeah. nanamo. Nan whatever. That's Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Emily would have to pronounce that for us. Yeah. Yeah. So what I used to make at the restaurant was not this at all. No. But, but you usually get things like that fucked up. Always. <laughs> yeah. Like completely. Yeah. This is 100% a tort though. It's layered and they Nani. it looks very interesting yeah so it looks like a uh, like a ganache this says coffee buttercream like biscuit another ganache so it's just a bunch of layers of um biscuit buttercream and chocolate ganache mm -hmm. very interesting uh, sin do you do you see where I, what i'm talking about with the flavor west birthday cake where you like it seems like it could be the base for a carrot cake with like maybe like VT bakery spice or something. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, flavor West, you, you talking about flavor West yellow cake, flavor West birthday cake. Oh, birthday cake. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, it's got like a certain spice to it. I think. Is it like an know. upneg kind of a thing? It's kind of, it's, it reminds me of carrot cake. Like a lot. Hmm. Without I don't the know. Carrots or cake. I don't know that I have that flavor. What well, I, I I have a birthday cake, but maybe I don't know if it's flavor West. It's or newer. Not. It came out like 
two years ago, maybe with um, when when they released all those cakes, Flavor West. And, oh yeah, uh, that's right. Else came out of those. Yeah, that's right. Whatever. Yeah. Well, the spice oh, is usually like it's like cinnamon and ginger, <laughs> nutmeg. I don't. I'm gonna release everything at once, Emily. I'm gonna release 662 recipes all the same day. <laughs> I've been saving up for the last <laughs> ten years. You know, Graham. Graham, uh, uh, I'm just going to share this with the chat. Graham told me that when I when I was working on the uh, uh, Killer Custard clone, I had like 60 different versions of Killer Custard sitting on the sh my shelves back here. And uh, he asked me how how it was going. I said, "Well, it's not Killer Custard, but all of them are pretty good custards." And he said, "Well, you should release every one of those like one every day for the next year." So. <laughs> The custard king of Southside Chicago. <laughs> exactly. I made some really good custards, just wasn't killer custard. <laughs> you see all that those bottles behind him right now? That's one mix. That's all just one he's working on. He's, got, he's just so many goddamn versions of it. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it's all the peanut butter shit over there. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I have I haven't got that deep into the peanut butters yet, but give me another month. It, yeah, it'll you be... watch that rack. <laughs> yeah. Watch that rack, it's gonna grow. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. absolutely. It's all 60 mils. There are 120 mils of malt, and he vapes every one of them, every last one. <laughs> the rack itself is going to get stretched out. I'm telling you. He's going to need a new one. <laughs> He's doing peanut butter. He's going to need a whole wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's coming along pretty good so far. So I'm I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. So y'all want to talk? Want... I'm... Oh, go, ahead. go ahead, Max. Oh, I was just going to ask Graham. Emily wants to work on uh, that mix with him. Yeah, yeah, I uh, absolutely, absolutely. Hit me yeah. up. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Emily and Graham can smash that. The last time we worked on something, it, it was uh, the corn star. That shit banged. Yep. Yeah, Na it. chef wants us to check out a dessert called spaghetti. <laughs> In uh, America, we don't call that dessert. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spaghetti's? The hell is that? Uh, I know what his name means now. He's not a chef. That's why he don't know what spaghetti is. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Um. Okay. <laughs> not chef. I'm I'm grossed out, na chef. Um, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna show the, I'm just gonna show the picture here. Uh, yeah. It looks like some kind of like a strawberry cream with a kind of a chocolate uh, a cone wafer right. of, of some sort. I, I don't know if that's is that real pasta or is that something else. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's like a pressed kind of a some kind of dough. Yeah, yeah, some kind of maybe sweet dough or. It might not even be dough. I see one that looks like a Napoleon in. Uh, it's chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. It looks like spaghetti. It actually looks like something you used with like a Play-Doh press. It's probably yeah. like a phyllo dough or some sort of dough with like a strawberry sauce or something like that, You right? can't like press phyllo dough out of there. Whatever, you know what I mean. Like a, maybe it's ice cream even. <laughs> Roman noodles? Yeah, not sure. Go away with that, dude. Go come back here and even with that, that yeah. spaghetti. That's, you that's you released that recipe. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, you, figure <laughs> out, you, figure out in bowl. yeah. you tell us what the fuck is in there, and we'll think about it. But yeah. probably not. Yeah. yeah. Send us looking like hard that. hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want to give us an idea? We'll shoot down. In two yeah. seconds. Yeah. All right. Uh, Y'all want to talk about uh, what we're going to be releasing Tuesday? Yeah, go for it. I always fuck it up, so you go ahead. <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll fuck it up, too. Uh, so about a week ago, I think it was, um, it was myself, Alfred, and Jerry came on. And, you know, we're going to have uh, special guests from time to time. And we invited Jerry to come on and help us develop a recipe. And he suggested, let's make some type of a apple dumpling. So that's that's what we worked on. And it's turned out really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah. So, we'll, I just mixed it up last night, and it's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. 
It is. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. Yeah. Like, so, next level good, really. Yeah. So look for that. Tuesday yeah, you- at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. Yeah, Emily, get look, get forward to. I mean, look forward to uh, mixing up that spaghetti thing. Nah, Chef's gonna take it over to you guys. He said. Yeah. Yeah, you I mean, me. I wouldn't yeah. be opposed to making it if I just knew what those noodles were made out of. And if it's really spaghetti, then go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's some meatball? Not, no, it's, man. A dessert. it's a joke. It's like a you know. Yeah. Yeah, a meatball would be like a like a cherry cordial or something. That that chocolate ice oh, yeah. cream cone with some strawberry jam of some sort that would be nice. Oh, Graham, can we can we talk about what what you're kind of working on, or is that super secret? No, go ahead. Well, I want you what to talk we, about. It. What are we talk. What are we talking about? <laughs> you, you 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 said that you had got the uh, jam wizard. Oh, yeah, but what was I talking about though with that? Oh, okay. Oh oh, I know what you're talking. <laughs> okay, yeah yeah yeah. Well, I mean. It's getting close to like a like a jelly, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like a grape jelly. It's getting pretty close. I, I don't. That's, I don't really think that I'm close enough to put anything out there yet. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure I know what, which way to go. Well, when you when you get it ready, we'll put your jam with my peanut butter and see what happens. There we go. There we go. Get <laughs> something with the bread, and then we're all good. Oh, just that's, just that's forget. Easy. Don't even don't even put any bread in it. That'll just fuck up everything. I've tried that shit. It just. It yeah, don't work. Bread don't translate. It just doesn't. So true. It, it really just doesn't. Don't. Yeah. No. What would you What would you use though to, to get to the bread without making it too bready, but to give it a, like a impression of maybe it might be there? You know, you remember like when when Wayne proved the the uh, power suggestion with that mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. years ago. Remember when he did the what was the strawberry cream and he just kind of floated the idea of the chocolate being out there and it kind of started showing up in mm-hmm. your brain. Mm-hmm. I definitely. That'd be the way to do bread. Yeah, I definitely think that the power of suggestion is real. Uh, I, if if you were wanting to give an impression of bread, I would suggest using and use it very, very, very low. But I would suggest using anywhere sesame. Ooh, that's, that's a good flavor. Sense. That's a good flavor, actually. Yeah, that actually makes. A I'm lot a of big fan of that one because it, it. You know, the sesame seeds when you eat a, a, a bun with sesame seeds on it, and you 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 kind of associate that with the bread itself so if you just put the sesame yeah. in there you might get those same associations yeah you trigger a response i bet I yeah mean, that's, that's a really good idea yeah it, wow. it actually depends on too like what you add to the peanut butter too right because the peanut butter itself like dx kind of has like a little bit of that texture thing going on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it does yeah. so maybe a power suggestion with that might just be enough mm-hmm. yeah but huh. that's cool. uh that's that's Bread's tough. Bread's tough. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably what people are doing wrong. They're probably adding the... Adding They're adding the, the bread. After the bread instead of doing it like... Like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely the way to do it, I bet. Yeah. I've tried, like, the scone. You know, the jam scones or the jam toast and all that shit. It doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. Well, concrete got the closest to anything I've ever seen. Yeah. With, uh... Berry jam with on toast. Mm-hmm. That's just amazing. Mm-hmm. And you it could, really is, but. you could, you could maybe use some of the real flavors baked bread, uh, just a touch of it, like Emily said in the chat there. Yeah. Uh, I would, yeah, su- I would suggest using the uh, VG version of it though. You know what? I would suggest using a lot of the VG versions of uh, real flavors. They get, they got a bad rap early on, and uh, not all of them are terrible. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of them are actually better than the real the, the uh, super concentrate version. I, I haven't so, I haven't really tried uh, many of the VG versions. I, although I, I did try the the baked bread. Yeah, they got annihilated early on. Like right when they came out, they got just destroyed. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. they went for the the super concentrate, and everyone knows those are garbage. So, yeah. you know, not garbage, but a lot of them are thin. They they would say thin, or they don't vape right, or whatever. But the VG versions work a lot better in a lot of cases mm-hmm. because I'm an idiot and bought the whole entire line before I knew what was going on so I'm just putting that out there that mm-hmm. you know the VG ones are better yeah alright guys we're uh, we're over we're at, uh, over 7 o'clock here so I don't want to yeah. go into other people's shows uh, make sure 
uh, to check out Pippa's show, DIY Down Under. It should be starting right now over on her channel. Uh, they're, I think they're going to be talking about icings today or something. Frosting. Frostings. Frostings. That's it. That's it. I'm liking her show. Actually, I'm liking it a lot. Yeah. 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 It's nice and nice. And anything else, guys? No, I think that's it. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody coming out and uh, look for our show, our episode Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Apple Dumpling, and we'll see y'all next week. Later. See you guys. Uh-huh.